Good morning, everybody. So this week, we're going to be starting to work on our creative arts pieces, which are going to be need to be completed by the 6th of July for our creative arts evening that we're going to be gallery that we're going to be putting on. So I'm going to go through some ideas today. You can uh, for you to have a go at doing a mood board to pull some ideas together so that on our next lesson, um, I'll we'll be showing you some techniques you can be using and some other ideas that you could be using. So this year we're going to be doing an art gallery on showing all of your work that you're doing at home. It could be written work on an artist, it could be artwork, it could be 3D work, it could be modelling, it could be um, photography, it could be anything that creative that you want to showcase um, in the gallery this year. So we're going to be thinking about these two words, hope and light. So before we even get started, I want you to think of what do you, what do you know about these words? What could you describe these words as? So something that you could have, these are some ideas that I came up with. So we have light at the end of the tunnel, friends, friendships, love, family, happiness, looking forward to something, hoping something's going to end. Um, so these are just some ideas that I came up with. So what does hope look like? So I want you to have a, a chat to your friends, to your parents, whoever you are with. What do you think hope looks like? If you were to picture, to close your eyes and think of what would hope look like? If you were to see hope, what would it be? You could even write this down on a little spider diagram to see some ideas that you might want to come up with. So if you were to say a picture of something that looked like hope, what would it be? So here were just some ideas that I thought of. I thought of freedom, I thought of um, independence, I thought of flying away, um, not having care in the world, just enjoying yourself, you're enjo enjoying your time um, and just uh, relaxing really. So these are some ideas I came up with. Did you come up with the same or were yours a little bit different? So now I want you to think of what does light light look like so if you were to see light what do you think light would look like if you were to see it as a picture you could also write some ideas down if you wish as well so this is what i thought of i thought there's obviously the lights in your room that brighten up the room you've got the sunlight that makes everybody feel better when the sun comes out you've got the sunrise and the sunsets which are beautiful to watch um the um the idea of light can help um, with processes and actually if you're walking around to help lighten it up brighten up everything make you feel so good about yourself and um, so those what i came up with with light so there's a saying there is a light at the end of the tunnel do you know what that saying means and if you do what why does it mean that how does it make you feel looking at this picture how does it make you feel thinking there is a light at the end of the tunnel have a think, have a chat, maybe write some ideas down as well. What do you feel towards this and what do you think, um, what do you think about the idea of there being a light at the end of the tunnel? Okay, so the saying there is a light at the end of the tunnel can mean different things, but really it means that there's been a long period of time and it's finally coming to an end. So if you were in a tunnel on a train, um, you know that it's going to end, the tunnel's going to finish when you see that light because you're nearly at the end of the tunnel. Something is going to be changing. So can you think of some times when you've thought it's been a long time and you're ready for something to change, something's about to change, it might be the current situation, it could be other ideas. So can you think of some ideas when you might have used the saying there's a light at the end of the tunnel? So some ideas you might have come up with were the current situation, not being at school, that there is a light that we are starting to open up and everything getting starting to move a little bit further to get a little bit back to normal. It could be if you've been um, on a trip, on a train in a tunnel for a long time and you're actually wanting to get out. It could be that um, you've been working really hard on a piece of work and it's taking you a long time to do, but you're finally nearly finishing it. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So there's lots of different ideas. So we're going to talk through some ideas of pieces of art that you might want to do because you're going to then use these ideas to do your mood board. 
So as we go through the different artists, I want you to have a look at the pictures. I want you to think, what can you see? How do the colours make you feel? How does the patterns make you feel? What do you feel when you look at these pictures? Do you feel um, happy? Do you feel sad? Do you feel like you're interested or curious about something? So obviously we've got some, um, this is Kandinsky's artwork here with some different, obviously using a lot of shapes, a lot of colours. Um, what else can you see on here? So have a pause the video now, have a think, how do you feel, How what, what can you see on the pictures? Okay, and I'd like you to do the same for this piece. So this is uh, John Conane, this is his artwork. Have a look, what can you see? What, what, how does it link to hope and light? How does it make you feel? So pause the video now and have a good look at these, voter, these pictures. Okay, so this is the next artist we're going to have a look at. Um, this is Carolyn Erdley. So this is the work that she produces. So have a look at the pictures, pause the video, see what you can see in the pictures, see some ideas that you might want to be able to use in your work that really make you think of hope and light. So it might be a case of the flowers or um, a person or bright colours or patterns. Um, so pause the video now, have a little talk, have a little look and see what you can see on these pictures. Okay, now we're going to have a look at Melissa Larray. So Melissa Larray looks at using lots of bright colours. What else does she look to use? Can you see how does it make you feel? How does it, what is the other aspects of it that you really like that you could use in your art? Can you picture how you could turn this into a piece of art? Okay, our next um, artist is um, this lady here. I'm not going to try and pronounce her name because I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, but obviously we can see from her pictures that there's some people, there's some nature and trees, bright colours. What else can we see? Maybe have a pause the video, see what you could incorporate in your, um, in your picture that you're going to have a go at doing um, to really see how you can show hope and light. And Annie Taylor, she is another artist that obviously looks at using nature and almost like the idea of an, uh, light at the end of the tunnel. That's what I think of when I'm looking um, a long path through the trees. But what else can you see? Can, is it colours or patterns or how does it make you feel? So have another pause the video now. Have a think of these ideas. Think about what you like about these pictures, what you might want to include in, the, in your art. So looking at the different artists that we've just had a brief look at, we will be looking at them more next um, in our next session. I want you to think about these questions. So what shapes did you see? What shapes um, and colours and patterns could you see? How do the colours make you feel? How do the shapes and the patterns make you feel? Are there aspects which you really like about it? Are there things that you particularly don't see um, where hope and light comes from? How can you see hope and light in these pictures? So I'd like you to pause the video now and collate all those ideas. You can write some things down if you want to, or just to brainstorm it in your head and just um, verbalise some ideas to say how you feel and why you think hope and light is particularly evident and you can see it in these pictures. So you're going to have a go now at doing a mood board. Now a mood board is something that showcases different ideas, colours and um, opinions. It could be things you like in it. Um, so these are some examples that we've got here. So we've got things like shapes and colours. We've got patterns and um, thinking about how they make you feel. We've got they've got some annotations that you could include and um, opinions that you might use keywords on the pictures. So, for example, the one at the bottom where it says free and live um, and there's that independence and that freedom and um, that almost shows a sense of hope. You've got quotes like you're not alone, sunshine to brighten up if that links to light. Um, you've got lots of different, um, obviously like the love mood board. Is that something that you link to hope, hoping that um, you'll see your family soon? Um, light, that there's the brightness of the fact that your family and your friends brighten up your life. So you're going to have a go at now doing a mood board to show me your ideas of what you think light and hope are. So collating everything that we've talked about throughout the lesson and um, to say how you feel 
what you think it is, what you can picture light and hope to be. You can draw some pictures, you can write some um, quotes or some words, you could do some research on what hope and the light at the end of the tunnel means. Um, so I'd like you to have a go at doing this and to really start to think about what your picture is going to represent. So when we move on to doing our picture, you know what colours you're going to be using um, and why you might use um, these colours. You could even put that on your mood board and colour lots of different colours to show um, how some things might make you feel a certain way. So, for example, for example, I might colour and I might put lots of different colours onto my mood board to show different colours. I then could annotate it and I could explain what the colours make me feel. So, for example, if I see the colour um, orange, it might remind me of um, warmth and fire. If I see the colour um, brown, does it remind me of nature, of growth? So you could put on some words onto your mood board. Blue reminds me of the sky, of oceans of freedom and so on so part of yours could be like this then you could also um put on you can decorate it you could put on some birds to show um the freedom of the birds then you could also on your mood board if you wanted to put some pictures or some quotes you could say for example um you're not alone not alone and you can put them in a fancy bubble you could put other quotes that you might find or words in bubbles free live light and again, you could make colour them, make them nice and bright so that they stand out. So something that looks a little bit like this. You could also um, think about some other ideas, some pictures that you might want to draw that show light. It could be that you draw a picture of a light bulb. Or a picture of the sun. Or it could be that you think of um, different patterns. Love hearts or stars. Or you could draw your own pictures as well. So this, you're building it up to show ideas of what you might want to use on your mood board, which will really show the sense of love, hope, light coming to an end um, and the ideas that you might want to include in your um, picture as well. So I'd like you to now have a go at completing your own mood board and I'd love to please spend lots of time um, really getting the detail, thinking about your colouring, your presentation and making sure they're beautiful because these can go towards the art gallery um, and obviously they can be displayed along with the work that you produce to show um, obviously where your ideas have come from. So please, if you need to turn back through um, the slides to have a look at the artist's ideas, the colours, the shapes, the patterns, um, if you want to include some of those into your mood board to really get a sense of what your final piece is going to look like. Okay, so now we've had a look at all of the, all of the different artists. We're now going to think about, obviously we've looked at the colours and the patterns, and we're now going to think about feelings. Now feeling is something how you feel. What do you sense inside? What, how do you feel to other people? How do you feel about yourself? So you're going to have a go now at doing um, something like this. So you're going to write feelings in a little bubble, and you're going to tell me all of the feelings. So whilst we've been not at school, and whilst you've been at home because of COVID, because of the virus, how have you felt? What are the feelings you have felt? Now I'm going to show you some examples first of feelings that I've felt and the reasons why I felt that. Then you can have a go at doing the same and having an idea of what is the reasoning behind it. So here are some uh, feelings that I've felt. Maybe whilst I'm going through some, you might feel actually that I could say that's about me because I've also felt that. So. 
Um, I have had things like feelings of happiness, um, spending time with my family, the joy of being around my family and being able to be all together and all protected in our safe little bubble. It could be that you have felt at times a little bit frustrated or a little bit annoyed because you've wanted to see your friends or your other family members and you've not, obviously not been able to. You might feel um, sadness or um, you could feel um, a little bit of sadness if you again if you're not if, if you've not seen anyone and it makes you feel quite sad about that and um, I sometimes felt a bit angry um, because I'm wanting to see people and I can't understand why we can't see people and it because of the situation and um, it's something we've never experienced before so I've also experienced confusion as well and feeling confused and not knowing what's going to happen and not knowing when it was going to end um, and that's also a little bit why I've put anxious and worried because I'm worried about when I will get to see my friends when I will get to see all of you again um, so obviously there are those type of feelings but then I have also got feelings of <clears throat> happiness and joy and enjoyment because I've enjoyed spending my time at home and um, with loved ones I have spent uh, have been happy and enjoyed the work that I've been doing at home and setting yourselves work or you might feel enjoyment doing the work or there might be something specific that you've enjoyed doing pride taking pride in the fact that you know what even though we're not at school I am so proud of everybody and myself and everybody else that we're all just keeping pulling together as a team I felt feelings of relief as well to know that when and excitement to know that um, it's starting to get a little bit better in the sense of we can start to see people and start to see our family and friends. So relief that it's finally coming to an end. Um, excitement because I get, I'm looking forward to getting back to normal and seeing everybody again. So you can see there I've got lots of different feelings. You might also feel the same way and um, have some of these feelings. So um, in a minute, I'm going to flick back onto the um, other page to show you exactly what you're going to be doing. Um, and obviously, have a look at the ones that I've put here. If you want to put those on yours as well, um, just turn uh, back and obviously watch this part again to see different feelings. Or you might have come up with other feelings as well. Um, so I'd like you now to have a go at doing this. So you're obviously going to have a go do you have any go now now what i would say is use feelings and think of an example when you are doing it so for example when i said i was feeling relief because i know that we are getting to move on a little bit and start to see each other more and see family and friends so it might be quite nice as well to not only just put your feeling but to explain why you might feel that way how come you felt that way it's okay to have these feelings and it's okay to worry and it's okay to be excited um, but this is a time when we can really reflect and see that actually I was worried at this time but now I've got a different sense of um, enjoyment or a different feeling um, to what I have now. So I'd like you to go and have a go, write your feelings down, how you felt um, and tell me as well exactly why you felt it um, and then once you've done that you can play the video and I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so using all the ideas that we've talked about in this lesson so far, so we've got all the things that we looked at the artists, we looked at colours and patterns and shades and how they made us feel, why we might have felt certain ways, were, this, were the swirls making you happy, if it was spiky, did it make you feel a bit uncomfortable, um, bright colours make you happy, um, dull colours make you feel a bit lonely and a bit sad. Um, so obviously we've used all that. Now we've got our feelings. So now you're going to have a go at doing a mood board. Now I'm going to show you what, how you can do one. And then whilst I'm doing this, you can look at what I'm doing. You can take some inspiration, take some ideas, and then you can also um, include some of those if you want to into yours as well. Okay, so you can you can set it up however you want. You could do it either landscape or portrait. It doesn't matter which way you can do it. Now I'm going to do it in dark colours and felt it pen so you can see it a little bit better. However, I also appreciate um, that you will want to do it in pencil first and then add some colours to it. So the way that I'm going to do it, I'm going to start on a journey. So I'm going to do a journey for my mood board. So I'm going to snake until I get to the top. So this is going to be my journey. Now I'm going to start at the bottom and this is going to be my start. And I want to say about um, this, I'm going to include the type of feeling. So I'm going to put down here, feelings of joy, love, family, 
happiness. I then might add some colours that I think um, really kind of shine as that. So, for example, I think joy and orange are, um, make me feel happy. Love in pink and happiness. I might also draw some pictures of things that make me feel this way. So it might be that I draw some love hearts or I draw um, some, it might be that I draw some swirls that they make make me feel quite happy seeing swirls and, and the patterns. Then as I move forward, I might start to think about oh, what type of feelings that I felt then. Well, as I was starting, it was feelings of confusion. Maybe some worry or ang anxious about not knowing what was going to happen. It might be feelings of um, sadness, not being able to see your family. And again, I might decide that I might put some, I'm showing it, it building up, I might put them into colours that make me not, maybe not necessarily feel um, too happy and colours like brown. And sometimes if you're feeling down, you might be said to be feeling blue as well. So I'm going to put some blue. Then I might see, draw some um, pictures again that make me, or patterns. So things like spikes. They make me feel uncomfortable. I don't really know what they're for. It might be that you use, um, you draw some, um, you could draw some pictures of some worried faces. You could also draw um, question marks if you're confused. Then I might, as I'm moving on, I'm thinking about my journey. So I've gone from thinking, oh, I'm excited, I'm home, I'm happy with my family, to then feeling confused about why I'm not going back to school. So you're really starting to see my um, mood board start to really develop with the words that I'm putting. Then I might say I've got feelings of, as we're starting to come out of it, where it's starting to get excitement. happiness, relief, joy, I might feel feelings of joy again. So again, it's coming back out into feelings that I'm, I like and, and feelings that I'm ready to, to see all my friends and family. So I might again use different colours. Now again, you don't have to set yours up like this. Obviously I'm doing it to show a journey, but you can set yours up however you wish. They then might draw some um, uh, some pictures. So it might be uh, the fact of excitement and joy and relief. And it could be that you draw um, different pictures. It could be that you're, you draw pictures of um, a hand to show that it's not far from the end. You could draw um, a tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel, knowing that it's going to, we're not, we're not far from the end, or houses to show the distance. You could draw um, things of, of joy and happiness, and you could draw things like, um, trees at the sense of things um, growing life growing it might be that um you think of words about at the very end when we do freedom and you could put things like decorate it with birds 
to really show the journey that we have been on. So what this is an idea that I've done. You can obviously use this idea if you also want to do this. So starting to really show the feelings that you're feeling. You could write phrases about on there, light at the end of the tunnel and feeling overwhelmed and not knowing what's happening, but feeling comfortable at the end. You could um, obviously if you've got gaps, then you can draw some pictures and um, you could draw pictures of um, a family or friends or you could draw um, things uh, like hope and you could put it as a rainbow to show the hope of everybody coming together you could do things like um, the NHS things that have really um, helped you through this you could decorate it with lots of different patterns so thinking about what we've just looked at we, you could design on some patterns and um, to really show that you could show um, almost like a light in the middle and the brightness coming off so you're really starting to develop it now so that you're adding all the extra detail in you've got words phrases you've got different um, pictures on there as well so you're really starting to showcase how you have felt throughout the lo throughout lockdown to show your feelings to think of colors and patterns looking from the um, pictures we've just looked at and um, it could be that you put some questions on there um, or some phrases that you've said might have said in the past so I'd really love to see your um, to see how you have found lockdown and the experiences and the feelings that you have felt because remember um, this is all natural. I felt, I think I felt nearly every single fe feeling, um, and I'm sure you have too as well. So moving on, then I'm, the next slide will show you what you can include. Obviously, here is my waggle to help you to have a look at, and um, just to really put all of the features in as well and all the feelings in. So obviously I've just shown you an example of um, how you could do a mood board. Here are some other examples of different mood boards as well that you can use um, as inspiration. So there's some quotes, some words, some pictures. Um, so just thinking of these questions, thinking about everything we've looked at today. What shapes can you use? What colours could you use? Patterns and um, thinking about how they might make you feel. Thinking about um, different annotations that you might want to use. Um, you could put things in bubbles or beach marks or um, arrows so it's completely up to you how you want to do it but it's starting to really develop that sense of feelings of how you can show how you have felt throughout lockdown and the reasons for it so it might be if you've been feeling blue or you're feeling under the weather you could draw a cloud or you could draw and um, if you're feeling happy and excited things that make you happy and excited things like the sunshine your family your friends um, so you can really showcase that and I'd love to see your creativity so please do put them onto Seesaw after because they will also go towards the art gallery as well